uh, Bortle here at the Indiana Regional. My goodness, after eight rounds of Swiss, we have here top four contestant. Please introduce yourself to the world. Uh, my name is Walker Rowcliffe. I played Runic Stun at uh, the Regional this weekend. What made you decide to play this deck for the event, man? Uh, I played it at YCS Indy and I, I bubbled top cut, but I think this deck is just really good into Snake Eye going first or going second. The rest of the meta just kind of doesn't matter if you open the right cards. Okay. Well, before you see the goo, any shots? Uh, yeah. Shout out my hometown, Pop Bluff, Missouri. Nobody knows about that place. Shout out my ga my uh, store, Valkyrie Gaming. Okay. Uh, yeah, but without further ado, please hear with the rest of the goo. All right. First off, Runic Spells, simple stuff. Two Fountain, three Tip, three Slumber, three Curses, three Flashing Fire, three Destruction, one of each of the other ones. That is duality. These all felt really good. They're all mandatory. You gotta play them. Like, 20 Runic Spells is, sometimes doesn't feel like enough, but I'm not playing more than one. Okay. Most of the stuff with these is just self-explanatory. You want to have more runics because if you draw two to three runics and like a stun piece or two, it just feels insane. Right. And then we have the non-runic spells. I played three duality, two desire, one terraforming, one time tearing, one card, one day apiece, signed by Christian Arena, my only loss, and one card scanner. All these cards are mandatory. Sometimes my number on duality changes. I'm, I'm never going to play three. Banishing too many runics can feel horrible, and like I'm thinking about cutting to one. I sided out one a lot of games, but I'm not too sure. It just needs more testing. Did it ever backfire for you today? Uh, it never backfired per se. Like uh, a couple weekends ago, I was playing at Louisville, and it backfired for me there. It was like round eight, and I banished both my fountains off of it, and just felt like okay. lost the game on the spot. But normally the normally the banishes don't matter too much as long as you just like draw playable. Okay. Next up, we have the monsters. I just mained three border. Best card going first. You normal it. They, their hand traps don't do anything. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Then we got the trap cards. I played two synchro zone, one scrub raid. I'm testing out scrub raid. It felt really, felt really good into tempi, but not much anything else. I played against one tempi, so I'm probably gonna think about citing maybe more than one copy, but one copy felt really good. You just Activate a runic spell, chain this descendant, and the battle phase, and it's just insane. That's wild. You're into any uh, tempi you said uh, Yeah, last round I played against a tempi, and this card just won me the game. Oh my goodness. And then we got rivalry, Tikabu, self explanatory, cards are nuts, and then three skill drain. Nice. Played 41 in the main. Uh, the 41st card was scrub raid. It was really late last night. I didn't feel like trying to cut a second duality just because, or second desires. Desires is just too nuts. So, Played 41, it felt good enough. I'm thinking about cutting border to two to play 40, but this is all just stuff that we'll figure out. Okay. On to the extra deck, it's doesn't matter the most as long as you play the right ratios. You got three Hugans, summon it like every game, card's insane. Two Munin, summon it once, won me the game in time. Three Gary, insane in battle phase. It's really good into Tempi because they just destroy it, then you're like, all right, effect to destroy one of the cards. It's just nuts. Two Freki, this card's way better than people say it is. This card, if you summon it, there's like, I don't want to attack into that and give you back your tip and can just negate a whole battle phase sometimes. They just don't respect it. And then I got one Slipe near This card, I haven't summoned it this weekend, but it's been really insane in the past. And then for the non-fusions, I didn't summon a single one of these, and I haven't since I've built a deck, but you got to play them. You got Baguska for your, like your border Gary lines. Cowboy to win in game if you can't gain a life off Munin. One Sky Crisis, this card's just really good into branded and stuff, so like just summoning it, turns off their Mirror Jade, kind of lose the game. And then one SP, just because extra monsters, SP. Okay. Your videos have made me a little better. Next up, the side. I'm a little bit iffy on what I'm playing. I'm playing three Judgment. I don't know if these should have been uh, the counter trap that negates the spell. Oh, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. But yeah, that, that card just like, you negate their uh, cosmic, turns off the, all their cosmics, but Judgment just felt too insane. Like, I played against one Labyrinth, and Judgment is insane. The other card would have not been so insane. Okay. Then I played three evenly. Oh, it's Curse Seal. Yeah, yeah, Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. Yeah. Played three evenly. This card's just nuts going second, just wipes their whole field. Not a whole lot of Omni Negates in this format, so just... Wipes out enough to worry the rest of your cards can just clean up everything else. I played two Grave and one Gozen. I sided the Gozen. I brought it in once against Flu and uh, once against uh, 
I brought it. I didn't. I only brought it in once. I brought it in once against Flu, and nothing else. This card is really good in certain spots and really bad in most spots. So I don't want to main it, but I got to play it. Grave's really good into like Melodious. It's insane into. Uh, if you run into like a voiceless voice, this card just turns off their whole deck, and that deck's really scary because you can't target their stuff. So the runic spells don't do as much. And then for monsters, I played three sphere mode. This card's just always insane going second against a board that sets up three monsters. Tribute three cards, summon sphere mode, win the game. I'm trying out three fissure. This card's really good going first against snake eye, but a lot of the games I just won in two, so I never got to play it going first. In theory, it's really good. In practice, it's been okay. I'm thinking about trimming some of these to add some Amano Awados for going second, because that card's just really nice going second. Okay. And that was the whole deck. There you go, and hey man, uh, congrats again on getting fourth place. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, until next time, everyone. Oh, blow up.